What is up my friends, Matt Burke here again, coming from a house here in Tallahassee, Florida, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about royales and how I do them. If you're new to this trick, hopefully we'll be able to get you to go from skating this to skating this by the end of this video. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is know what a royale is. So the main thing with a royale is you're gonna to wanna to be on the obstacle in between wheels two and three on your frame. Lock on to those two right there and hold it shoulders directly above the skate. And then drop right back in. And so you can see here on this manual pad that I have, that's only about two or three inches off of the ground. I'm just skating up to it and practicing that stall over and over again getting myself comfortable knowing where I'm landing on that ledge without looking directly at it every single time. That type of hand-eye coordination or hand-foot coordination is very important. Every single time you jump up to jump on any obstacle with any trick, you are gonna wanna know without a doubt where your feet are gonna be landing. And so once I've done this stall over and over again and I'm comfortable with where I need to hold my weight, I'm gonna start practicing by slowly skating up to it and jumping onto the trick on the ledge. And so the thing about a Royale is that this is a trick that you cannot step onto. You need to jump on and commit to it every single time that you do. Sometimes it will look something like this, where your foot will fall more into a front side position. You can either ride that out or just jump off of the obstacle and get yourself ready to start over again. And so after skating that manual pad and getting comfortable with that, I'm gonna move over to this other ledge that is a little bit taller and just gonna practice that stall on here again. Practice jumping a little bit higher, seeing what that feels like and what that does to the weight displacement in my body. You can see that there is a wall directly next to this ledge that does block it from being able to be grinded. So I'm not gonna grind this, but I am gonna move over to this little parking block that we've got at our park. These parking blocks are a little bit weird because the edges of them are not a 90 degree like the angle iron and they also are not round. They're just a little bit odd, but it does slide very, very nicely if there is a coat of paint or a coat of wax on it. And so I'm just skating this thing a couple of times again, making sure that I'm comfortable with where my weight is, getting comfortable sliding across something and just figuring it out. And from that parking block, we're gonna move over to this P-Rail, my favorite P-Rail at this park because it is the round one, which is my favorite type of obstacle to skate because I do think that it just fits absolutely perfect in the groove in my frame. And much like I've already said, this is not a trick that you can step up onto, so you are just gonna have to jump onto it. And so on this rail, we're gonna do the same thing that we've done on everything else. We are just going to practice stalling on it, getting comfortable with our body weight being up on top of something that is now higher than anything else that we have jumped on, making sure that I am landing in between wheels two and three on the rail, I'm landing with my boot down on it and I am very comfortable and able to hold myself up on it and hold that stall until I feel like I don't need to anymore. So I'm gonna hit this one at a pretty slow speed so you can see the position of my feet. So I'm gonna hit this one at a pretty slow speed so you can see the position of my feet. I have a worry that if I jump onto a rail with let's say a Royale and I get some wheel bite and my body locks up and I fall off of it, the faster I'm going, the more odds I have in my favor of just overflying that obstacle and not landing on it. And I would personally rather overshoot the obstacle and land on the concrete than land on the rail itself and get all mangled and hurt my back or break another rib. So that's one of my biggest pieces of advice here with this trick is to get as much speed as you feel comfortable with. Just don't hold it against me if you fall and get some road rash. From the round rail, we are gonna move over to the lower but rectangular rail that I always have been a little bit more uncomfortable with. If you don't jump on one of these rails or one of these obstacles with the correct form, you do have the potential of getting some wheel bite and getting quite violently thrown off of that obstacle. So I can't recommend strongly enough to stall on every single one of these things before you grind on them, just so that you can get the feel of what it is supposed to feel like to jump on it and immediately be in that boot down position. But from there, we're gonna move over to the very last obstacle and the one and only obstacle that I'm skating at the park that you cannot stall on. 
and it is this down ledge with the angle iron edge. This is one of those obstacles that you really just have to be comfortable and confident enough in your skill with this trick to know that you are gonna land it because like I just said, you cannot come up and stall on this thing. If you try to come up and stall on this thing, you're just gonna end up grinding it. So if you're gonna try that, I guess be ready to grind it. I am no good at these 90 degree ledges. No good, no good. And so there you have it. Hopefully if you are not accustomed to doing royales yet, hopefully now you will be a little bit more comfortable with that trick. It is one of my favorite tricks. So hopefully I was able to explain it in a way that wasn't confusing and in a way that makes sense and isn't completely wrong. But if you've enjoyed this video, if it has helped you with your royale at all, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Share this video if that's something you feel inclined to do. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. And if you wanna be notified as soon as these videos are uploaded to this channel, hit that little notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as that does happen. And as always, y'all stay safe out there and I will see you next time.